just want to show you another very powerful proof from the King James Bible that the two witnesses in Revelation chapter 11 are in fact Moses and Elijah. Uh, turn in your Bible to Matthew chapter 17. We're going to have the actual words of Jesus here telling us who the two witnesses will be. Now, most people would not argue over Elijah, spelled in your New Testament, Elias. Uh, but the argument comes in over the other witness there. People say it's Enoch. It's not Enoch. It's Moses. I'm going to prove it to you today. Let's start out here. Matthew chapter 17, verse 9 through 13. And as they came down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, saying, Tell the vision to no man until the Son of Man be risen again from the dead. They're just up there on the Mount of Transfiguration. They see Moses and Elias. So there's the two witnesses. But I'm going to show you stronger proof here in just a little bit. Verse 10, And his disciples asked him, saying, uh, Why then say the scribes that Elias must first come? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Elias truly shall first come and restore all things. But I say unto you that Elias is come already, and they knew him not, but have done unto him whatsoever they, they listed. Likewise shall also the Son of Man suffer of them. Then the, the disciples understood that he spake unto them of John the Baptist. Now people wrongly think that John the Baptist is you know, Elias reincarnated or something like this. No, no, no. What's going on here is John the Baptist in type was a prophet. He was like Elijah there from the Old Testament. So Jesus is saying, hey, if they won't accept John the Baptist, his uh, standing as a prophet of God, they wouldn't accept Elijah either. All right. In other words, Elias has come already. You accept John the Baptist, you would accept Elijah. See, in type, he's doing that. Later on, you have uh, John the Baptist, another part of Scripture there. John the Baptist is actually asked, are you Elijah? And he said, no, I'm not. So don't give me this thing that John the Baptist was somehow secretly, covertly Elias reincarnated or something like this. No, he was not. Okay, John the Baptist was born. All right. Uh, when Elijah comes back, he's not born. A woman gives birth to him or whatever. He appears on the earth. So there you have definitely a confirmation. Elijah is going to come first, all right, before the millennial kingdom is set up. So we definitely know for sure one of the two witnesses is Elijah, also spelled Elias, coming from Greek to English. Elijah is coming from Hebrew to English. That's why there's a difference there. King James Bible is accurate that way and honest. A lot of the new versions will change that and they'll just make it Elijah in both Old and New Testament. John chapter 5. Now I'm going to show you the proof that it's Moses is the second of the two witnesses. John chapter 5 beginning in verse 45. Now remember, this is Jesus. He's dealing with the Jews and he's seeing that they're rejecting him as their Messiah. Watch this. John chapter 5 verse 45. Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuseth you, even Moses in whom ye trust. For had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me. For he wrote of me. But if ye believe not his writings, how shall ye believe my words? So Jesus Christ is saying, one, the one that's going to come and accuse the Jews there in the future is Moses. And I've said this many, many times. Enoch, it wouldn't mean anything to the Jews in Israel today. The Orthodox, the ultra Orthodox, whatever branch of the Jews. But you get Moses showing up, and he starts to say, you people, you Jews out there, you're wicked. And they say, Moses, what? Moses, huh, what? You rejected the Lord of glory. You rejected your Messiah when he came the first time. I'm here to testify to you of Jesus Christ. See? He's going to be coming to judge them. It's the time of Jacob's trouble. You understand how it all lines up? See? So the two witnesses are definitely 100% for sure. You can watch my other study that I did on Revelation 11, the expository study. I got into it in real great detail, but I missed these two things here. So I just wanted to do a little add-on. The two witnesses, for sure, 100% are Moses and Elijah. So anybody comes along and says, oh no, it's Enoch and Elijah. No, sorry. Don't fall for it. 